What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here. Welcome to Afternoon's Delight. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, what a 200 meter woman race, man. Um, and I told y'all, I did what I'll tell y'all in my preview. Whoever comes in second is going to be a shocker, bro. Whoever comes in third, going to be a shocker, bro. It's going to be, you were going to get surprise results because of the way the field was. The field was full of ladies who, let me say, have been quite unpredictable this season. The only one that you really expect, like, you know what you're going to get coming in is Gabrielle Thomas. Just because if she's healthy, she should be finishing second behind Sharika Jackson most of the time, right? Um, but obviously, she's been hurt this year, so she's been a little bit slow. And I, I got some comments on, you know, to Gabrielle Thomas. Some things I'm a little bit worried about going forward from her, uh, even though she came in second. But there's some things I'm a little bit worried about. And I think some of these other ladies who are a little bit younger than her are going to pass her up. Um, because I think her injury is, is like, going to hamper her for the rest of her career. I think it's one of those types of injuries. Because I noticed it. She's not as... She's not as injured as she was in June, man. She was a little, she was actually a little bit more fresher here from what I saw. But let's talk about the scores and then we'll talk about Sharika Jackson and uh, we'll talk about Sharika Jackson first and the rest of the field. Well, Sh Sharika Jackson, amazing day from her. 21.80 at the top here, as you guys can see the scores. Uh, let, let's get into Sharika Jackson right now. So, amazing season from Sharika Jackson. Um, she doubled today, so. That was impressive that she even got a 21.80. She was the only runner under 22 flat. She's just a hit of every, like, nobody's in her territory. Nobody's close to her. Like, to run the 100 earlier and then still run a 21.80 in this one is amazing. And I be and next year, can she be Flo Joe's record? We will see. I mean, uh, we will see if she can do it. I think that's going to be on her mind. I think that's going to be a goal. Um, obviously, she's also a little bit tired, as I've noticed. It, she she's definitely tired. Um, and f when you get a twenty one point eighty, and you have you're starting to get dead legs, that is freaking amazing. It reminds me of Abby Stein at the Nationals, like not quite as tired as Abby at that point, but like it's you know she's it's still that kind of effort where you could feel like man, if Sharika would have even fresher legs, she probably would have ran a twenty one point sixty five which would have looked so dominant in this field, bro. Like, I don't think people realize how fast Sharika Jackson and like, she's just so comfortable in her form and everything. Like, um, the way she runs the turns, everything is like, she makes it look easy, man. Like, it, it's, it's insane to be watching greatness like this. Like, this girl is greatness right now. And I really enjoyed watching her. Like, I, I was like, man, I'm gonna have to watch this again just to pay attention to how she ran because I, I I will admit I did just watch the American Ladies the first time I watched it I just watched the American Ladies to see who was going to finish there but I had to watch it again to see what Sharika did around the track and bro even with a 21.80 because we know she could run a 21.50 at any point but like just to even run that with dead legs is like crazy so let's go with the rest of the scores Gabrielle Thomas had a 22.38 for second but this is I think a lot of American fans are going to be like Damn, Tamara Clark, who had that late too, 22.42. She beat Jenna Prandini again, who came in fourth, uh, but they were tight. It was a tight finish. It reminded me of the 400 meter finish for second. If I don't know if y'all saw the 400 meter flat race, um, but it reminded me of that. Kambunji faded away. She was 22.65. She's tired too, because she's been running a lot. And remember, she ran at the Europeans as well. So. She's been running a lot lately, and a lot of these scores, the times that you're seeing, it's just tire legs. This is where I was surprised at as well. Tania Gaither actually beat Ida Karstoff. Ida Karstoff really had a bad race. Um, I thought she was going to be much faster than this. 22.80 uh, ain't going to cut it for me. Um, it, that just wasn't good. And Bev Diamond has had a really bad season, man. She's starting to fade away a little bit. I think her age is starting to catch up to her. Um because she, she just has not regained form at all. She hasn't hit that 22.50 in a, you know, in a while. Um, I don't know, man, but let's, let's get into uh, the Americans, man. So, uh, Jenna Prandini, who was the one I was the most focused on, she finished in fourth. Now, what was crazy about this race was that her and Sharika were actually 1-2 at one point. And this is why I keep saying, guys, she fades off. 
And this is why I wanted Jenna Prandini at some point to run a longer distance race so that it will help with her stamina and fatigue. She's getting older now, so she probably even won't be able to improve in the future. If Jenna Prandini was only 22, I would have just been like, go run the 400. Because most, like, if you think about it, bro, she probably could have ran the same 21.80 that Sharika ran today. Because uh, Jenna hasn't run a ton of races this season. She's really done a great job of staying out of a lot of competitions and kind of resting her legs. And I think, because to be honest, she looked like she was the freshest of all the ladies in this race. Ida Karstoff should have been fresher than, like, her score should have reflected because she hasn't ran that many where I felt like she, but maybe, maybe, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. But Jenna, for sure, Look fresh. She looked fresh. Um, like I said, but what was one thing that I always tell y'all when it comes to Jenna Prandini? She gives out in those last 50 meters, bro. And that happened again today. But actually, she didn't have a bad run, though. Like, she, this was one of her better, like, she's starting to build some confidence ever since the relays I've noticed. Where she's just hanging in there. Um, Tamara Clark, who she had that amazing run against at the uh, Nationals to make the uh, Nationals team, had a 22.42. Tamara Clark is a little ball of dynamite, man. And she's she's like the Aaliyah Hobbs of the 200. Like, a lot of people don't focus in on her, but she just gets the job done. And this, I didn't expect her to race this fast. Like, I really did not. I thought she would be towards the back of the pack. I wasn't even really thinking. I was, the only ones I was focusing on was Gabriel Thomas and Jenna Prandini. I was like, I don't know about Tamara Clark. Like, she's going to come in third out of the American. She came in second, bro, and she finished on the podium to get bronze. That's crazy. And for Gabrielle Thomas, let me talk about her for a sec, because I'm going to get back into Jenna Prandini. For Gabrielle Thomas, this is why I'm a little bit concerned. Okay, so she finished in second. Great race. I think she definitely passed her injury. But she's not looking as fast as she used to be because remember this used to be sharika jackson's nearest she's the only one in the group who has beat sharika jackson since last year um remember she beat her in the olympics too gabrielle thomas i think this injury might might have slowed her speed down bro it's a little bit concerning we'll see next season if it really has because like i said she gets uh, some time off comes back maybe she'll get back to those fast levels but I'm a little bit concerned about Gabrielle Thomas going forward, man. I've seen a lot of red runners, even at her age. She's not that old yet. Uh, she's just 25, 26. I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of racers, and they just they don't come back, man. I'm a little bit concerned about Gabrielle Thomas if this is like her height, like because if you think about it, maybe she shouldn't even been this close to Tam Tamara Clark and Jenna Prandini. If we want to put Gabrielle Thomas on that high standard, she should have been way faster than this. And she should have been way away from both ladies. These ladies almost beat her, bro. Like, you got me to understand that. They almost beat her. So, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit rubbish on Gabrielle Thomas right now. I, I'm not, I, this is one of the few times where I see somebody reach second place and I got a negative opinion about it. Because I know she could do better than this. And I'm a little bit worried about her future, bro. I don't think she's going to be one of those runners uh, that's going to do her thing. But uh, I thought Jenna Prandini did a really good job. Um, I think her and Cam Bungie are the oldest in this group. Um, Beth Diamonds is up there, too. Beth Diamonds is like 28, 29. But uh, Jenna Prandini, man, I thought this was a really good race. Like I said, she was the one that was neck and neck with Sharika. But she kind of gave out a little bit. I think if she would have... Dude, is she, because this is one of our better races where she really didn't give out the 50 meter mark. She gave out like a 20 meter mark because that allowed actually uh, Gabby and, and Tamara to actually catch her and get uh, second and third. Or she would she would have been in second today. She would have been in second today, but still a nice run from her. Um, we'll see if this is the end of her season. I don't know if it is. Uh, we still got some races to go, but they're not like championship races. So it's just pretty much prepared for next season if anybody's still running at this point but she's still fresh enough where i think uh she could still run pretty good because uh, like i said she hasn't run a, her season started later this year i think she started like in early june um she didn't start in april or may um so we'll see man but go ahead and give this video a like man hit that like button for me share the video subscribe to the channel especially if you're new in the zoo 
any comments you got any comments you got definitely put them below and if you want to donate to the channel hit the super thanks button below i much appreciate it by the way uh, we had a new donator this, earlier this week named uh, DA Secret Cure who came out with a $70 donation through the Cash App, my first Cash App donation on the track and field video. So I salute him for being a first. Uh, you can see the leaderboard right here, me and uh, Indiana Sports Media, who you guys definitely need to subscribe to, by the way. We talked about one who likes to just celebrate our donators. And I talked about maybe next year, uh, maybe giving a gift prize away maybe a uh, gift card or something like that giving something away next year um to the people who donate a lot you know um like i want to give it away to like who's ever in the top three or whatever next year um um so we're gonna do that sometime next year i will be giving y'all something uh might even be cash in return i don't know um but it's going to be something where i'm going to give away something at different times of the year too like i won't give it all at the same time but who's ever in that top three um by a certain point next year you're definitely going to be in the running to get a cash prize so i definitely that's how much i appreciate you man but i can see the top donators here if you want to be on that list start donating um and uh stuff like that man and uh hit my cash app dollar sign sack exchange all right guys um but yeah man this is this is uh this is crazy stuff right here, man. Um, this race was definitely something else. Um, I, I enjoyed it because all the Americans were fighting for a second. I didn't expect that. Um, I didn't expect Tamara Clark to be looking that good in this race because I know her legs are dead tired. Um, and Gabby's still a little bit hurt. But I, like I said, I'm a little bit worried about her running as fast as she used to run. That's why I, I'm not worried about Gabby Thomas running i'm just worried about her running at her olympic speed i don't think she'll ever reach that level again she could prove me wrong but um i'm going to make a video maybe saturday about if abby steiner was in this race where she wherever she had finished at now if she had the freshest legs of anybody could she have beat sharika jackson today We'll be making that video soon, but I'm just going to worry about giving away the results and I'll probably make that video a little later. It'll probably be out Saturday, so definitely be on the lookout for when I'll cover the other Diamond League races if y'all need to check those out. Thank you guys for watching. After news, the like.